Virgo, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so, 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 so. Uh, we see here that there is a new path that is coming forward. Could be a relationship, could be a career. Either way, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is all about love offerings and about your life beginning to change. So you're going to be guided into new choices and new opportunities and new decisions, right? And we just want you to have the intention of what you're looking for. Not where you're at, not what you want changed, but what you are looking for, okay? What you are desiring and how you are desiring to feel in your life, right? Not what is, right? Again, not what's been, right? Not what you think you have the possibility of achieving. None of that because it's all limiting. What we want you to do is just feel what you want out of this outcome, okay? That's where we want you to keep your focus. That's where your intention lies. That way, when you show up every single day and you, you know, apply the practices and you stay consistent, you have that intention in the back of your awareness, right? Because that intention is everything. We get what our intention is. It's an intention-based universe, right? The only time it's going to get confusing is if you lose track of your intention. So keep that intention. Now, on your journey, you're going to go through moments where you're going to feel disconnected, separated, uncertain, wondering if what you're doing is right. Anytime you feel We'd like to say lost, but really lost is a state of mind and not knowing where you're going is an opportunity to choose another path forward. And so whenever you are in a not knowing state, right, that's where you are going to want to take a pause, take a rest and reconnect, right? Reconnect, reconnect, reconnect. Right now we see that there are choices in your current life that you are weighing the options of leaving behind. And that's good because some of these things you have going on in your life, Virgo, are leaving you feeling less like a less version of yourself. Could it have something to do with um, really anything that doesn't leave us feeling confident, but we keep making that choice. Anything that doesn't make us feel good and we keep making that choice, that's going to take our power, take our power, take our power. And pretty soon we're going to show up to our lives, you know, like this big. And we're just going to let people walk all over us. We're going to be very uncertain. We're going to be, um, you know, giving the, our our power away. We're just going to say, sure. We're just going to say yes. Right. And that's, that's, that's the problem with, uh, with, with, um, feeling energy sometimes is that it can get really dense here on planet earth. If, 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 if a couple things, first of all, we are not having fun. We must, must, must be having fun. It must be fun to us. Whatever we are doing, I'm learning trading right now, day trading. My husband's been doing it. I'm learning it. I used to, um, you know, he, he, he took off to the city for a few days and I've had the house to myself for a couple of days. And let me tell you, it's just been a unicorn fest here. It's been absolutely incredible to, for me to just be in my own energy. And I have been able to go through the routine that we have together. However, it wasn't working for me, but I could tell that, but because I was in it, I was getting lost in the energy, right? Instead of having that space to create it the way that I would create it. So this is why we always say spend time with yourself. So I started doing the same things we're used to doing in our same routine, but in the way that I would have done it since I'm alone now in my own energy. And I realized that I learn if I'm moving, right? So I'm not going to learn if I'm not having fun. So if I'm just sitting at the table and I'm trying to learn the charts and it's, they just look boring and dull and it's the same teacher just speaking in the same way, my brain's going to shut off. I'm going to be unfocused. I'm not having a good time. It's not creative, right? Again, I have a hard time learning if it's not creative and fun. So what did I do? I took the computer. I propped it up on the kitchen table. I put in some nice hand pan music in the background. And as I'm watching the course, I am moving my body and having that background music in. And let me tell you something, I retained all the knowledge because I was having fun. I was dancing with myself and it was a good time, right? So I started that. That's how I overcame that. Second one, nourish your temple. How you take care of yourself directly relates to what you allow in abundantly. Because if you do not take care of your physical body in a way that you love yourself, you're going to let, it's basically like letting something get dusty, 
right? If you don't take care of yourself, it gets dusty. If you don't take care of things, it gets dusty. What happens when things get dusty? We don't want to touch it. We don't want to play with it. We're not interested. We're not interested in learning about it. We're not interested in moving forward with it. We just kind of let it sit there and keep getting dusty. Well, your, your body is not only is it your temple, but it's like where you channel spirit, right? It's how you get your, receive your guidance. It's how you receive the steps to take of how to be the most successful. So if you neglect this very, very important tool that we have to move us forward here on planet earth, this is going to exactly direct your bank account. And it's going to exactly direct the love that you allow in and the love that your relationship is. Okay. So you got to have fun and you got to take care of yourself. Both of these two things, right? Both of these two things will unlock a lot of energy for yourself. Right? And that will get you nice and clear and that will be able, that will allow you to overcome challenges and it will create strength within yourself. Right? And that's the most important thing right now. Your affirmation for the day is I was born to do this. It's go time. And this is your energy right now. I was born to do this. It's go time. It is go time, baby. It is time for you to live a life of fun, creativity, taking care of yourself and really living in that state of joy. And you deserve this. And again, anytime we neglect something, we do not feel joyful, right? Anytime we let something get dusty, we're not joy. We're not feeling joy, right? We neglect our bodies, no joy. We neglect, you know, having intention in our lives, no joy. We neglect getting better at what we're doing, right? Uh, the intention of building on our skill set, uh, learning new skill sets, um, these kinds of things, right? We, we get dusty. We don't want that. So, the angels say to you, joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. And joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible level. And right now the universe is going to remind you, right? Anytime again, you are feeling uncertain, not knowing that is where you go in and you reconnect. Spend some time in nature, sound, heal, move, whatever it is that allows you to feel peace within your body. And then what's going to happen is that you are going to receive inspiration. You're going to receive inspiration from your outer world. You will not receive this inspiration from your outer world if you are in a uncertain place. So when you're, it's very important you remember this always and forever. When you are feeling uncertain or not knowing, that is not the time for you to go and try to figure things out in your life ever. It means that you're in the present energy of a frequency that will not give you clarity and you need to raise your frequency to receive clarity. And then you are going to receive the inspiration and the guidance about what path to move forward on. That's the thing. That's when you are going to see that path illuminated. If paths are not illuminated in your life, it's because you need to prioritize receiving, 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 and less doing, 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 right? There needs to be a healthy balance of the divine feminine energy of receival and the divine masculine energy of action. If you are not taking care of your physical body that shows that you love yourself and creating your life in a way that feels is playful and exciting for you, fun for you, you will miss out on the magic of what it is to be guided by the universe. These two things are basically the essentials of it, right? So it's so important because the thing is, is that the universe has big plans for you, right? And a lot of the times we go through this game of life feeling really lacking, right? We're, we, we see that we're don't, we don't have the money we want. We see we don't have the body we want. We see we don't have the relationship we want. And we think, you know, that's because of this reason. That's because of this reason. It's my fault, all these things. But the thing is that, well, universe says it best you'll find what you seek. And so this card says, if you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are astronomical, you will again. If you haven't yet found such a person, chances are astronomical, you will. It's up to you, the universe. You get what you think about. And right when we were pulling this card, we also pulled out the justice card in reverse. And the justice card is the law of attraction card. Remember, Virgo, you get what you see, you get what you think about. So stop thinking about stuff. Stop trying to fix things. Stop looking at your life as, as you know, as you are the victim, because you are not. But what we're seeing here is that it's time for you to start putting the focus on taking care of yourself. And it's time for you to start creating a life that you actually enjoy, that's fun for you. 
And you know when you put focus into these two things, right? Really dialing in what foods do you enjoy eating? What foods make you feel good, really, right? Maybe not enjoy eating because that can kind of get a little weird. But how about foods that make you feel really, really good, right? You determine how you want to feel in life, right? Maybe if you're naturally a really calm person, you might gravitate eating more of a, um, you know, uh, you know, higher carbohydrate diet. Maybe if you're naturally a high energy person, you might gravitate towards eating more of a, you know, a, a higher fats grounded diet or vice versa. How do you want to feel in your life? Experiment with this. Go through the process of discovering what feels good in your avatar. That's the best part about all the different ways of eating. And so that's the thing with receiving inspiration from the outer world, right? Is yeah, everyone's doing something different. Everyone's doing something cool and different. We want to try it all. We'll try it, but with an observatory standpoint, not an expectation to it changing your life overnight, but just, hey, how does this feel in my body? I see this person had success. Cool. Let's see if I have success in it. Oh, not feeling so great. All right. Maybe it's not for me. Why don't I give it two weeks and actually collect proper data on it before I quickly switch up emotionally? You know, just, just allow for the process of the universe to guide you. It helps, it helps, it helps when we are connected to our spirits, but you've got this. This is your time, Virgo. Trust in yourself. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.